Hi there, so I'm gonna do a quick tutorial here on the nutritiondata.self.com and I will note that I just recently had some issues with doing this in Google Chrome. For some reason, the Google Chrome was not working, so I don't know if it's on their end or if maybe I need to clear my cache, but um, the Brave browser, this worked fine. So once you that you log in, you can go up here to the top left or top right, I'm sorry, and type in like whatever food it is that you're wanting to add to your tracking. Um, hit enter. And so here I have beef and I just want to look at, you know, you just kind of go through and choose, okay, what was the type of beef that you had? And then you can click add to tracking. So once you do that, it should open up the tracking um, section which is here and you can see the other foods that I have added so once you have them you can choose okay how much you know the size of your serving size and then how much of your serving size so like the apples I don't know why that says that but I'm just gonna say one medium apple and then let's say three ounces of the beef um, I guess I've got a couple beefs in here don't I um, and then I'm gonna say I had a large carrot. So then once you have your foods all in here, you click save and analyze. And then you're going to get this screen, which is gonna show you the calories, as well as the breakdown here of like your um, macros. If you keep scrolling, you can get into all the micronutrients. And if you click on the more details, it will break it down to the different types of protein here, the different types, the uh, more details on the vitamins, um, like, like your different type of vitamin A, your different type of vitamin E, um, your minerals, and then over here on the left, your different types of sugars and different types of fats. So the most important one here really is your sugar and then looking at the different protein types, especially you'll be looking at the tryptophan and tyrosine or some uh, and methionine or some kind of big ones to be looking at and then your vitamins you want to be looking at here at your folate b6 i mean pretty much all the vitamins really to see what where, where's it at here on what you're getting on a daily basis as well as the minerals so the only downside is that you can't do that you can't keep this to look at through your week you can only do like one set at a time so what i do is i will do like the whole day's worth of foods and that way we can kind of see okay here's what you're getting in a day here's how many calories here's what the macros look like but then we can really look at what are your micronutrients you know and getting a good snapshot of those hopefully that was helpful um if you need anything else just holler um and i'm not really sure why i've always used google chrome in the past but for whatever reason this is what um august 7th 2020 it's not working for me so maybe i will send like a tech support um thing to them or something but anyway that's it and you all have a great day